The woman's attorney, along with community leaders, hosting a press conference on the issue yesterday, discussing how to move forward. Capital City correspondent Monica Casey has been covering the story for us today. Monica, what can you tell us? Well, I spoke with the head of the Benton Hills Neighborhood Association today, and he explained that offensive language in the covenant was included in a federal housing grant dating back to the 1930s that was distributed nationwide. So this is not only a Benton Hills issue, but an issue across the country. Now, this unconstitutional offensive language cannot be enforced, but many still want it gone completely. This is a beautiful neighborhood and it doesn't need to be tarnished by these old uh, documents. Residents in different parts of Tallahassee upset about past racist language in Benton Hills documents. I'm not surprised that there are still documents like this on the books because it was never eradicated when it should have been. Brian Andrews Larson is a member of another HOA in Tallahassee wondering about the language in that covenant. I can imagine that if one went through the bylaws with a fine tooth comb, you could find something like that. The offensive language decreeing that no person other than the Caucasian race shall own, use, or occupy any property in said subdivision. The real barrier for the city getting involved from a legal perspective is that we have no interest because any interest we could have had has now expired. The document included a general grant of easement for utilities. That was for any company or locality, including the city of Tallahassee. The city could have placed utilities in that, in that reservation of easement, based on that reservation. We could have done that, but we did not do that. And because we did not use the easement, it expired. Lisa Oberkresser hoping the city will get involved. If this is truly a community, then we all need to work together. And the city is part of that. Commissioner Curtis Richardson confirming Tallahassee's commitment. The city is going to work with the National Action Network and the other uh, partners from the community uh, to do what we can to see if, in fact, the language can be taken out of those documents. Now, although homeowners can tackle this issue individually, City Attorney Cassandra Jackson saying statewide legislation may be the best option to ensure that this language does not exist in any other neighborhoods, whether in Tallahassee or around the state. Reporting live at the Governor's Club, Monica Casey, WCTV Eyewitness News. Okay, Monica, and we'll continue to follow any developments. Thank you.